So it's been a while since I posted content revolved around my second love, which is plant-based cooking and disease prevention. You can check out my YouTube channel, link in my bio, for previous health content such as detoxing foods and herbs that heal the body. So let's talk turmeric. Turmeric is a medicinal staple and spice that has been used in cuisines such as Indian cuisine for years. Here are three ways I've used turmeric over the past few weeks, both internally and externally. Hello and welcome back to my channel, Alicia the Healthy Fashionista. My name is Alicia. If you haven't done so, be sure to hit that subscribe button for everything healthy and fashion related. Whew, it has been a while since I have connected with you guys. I've been very MIA. Life, the pandemic, and me being kind of antisocial as well as trying to juggle my Instagram, TikTok, all my social media and work. I'll try to do better. First, before we get started, can we just get into this vibe that's going on? It's giving very much Citizen of Zamunda vibes and I'm just here for it. I guess you wonder where I've been. Studies have shown that the curcumin or curcumin, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, found in turmeric decreases autoimmune symptoms, oxidative stress, and inflammation that causes many diseases. If you're looking to lose weight, studies have shown that turmeric can curve your appetite. If you're a diabetic, studies have shown that turmeric can help regulate your blood sugar levels as well. So while we're celebrating women, this vegan curry recipe was inspired by a plant-based specialist named Chelsea Williams that I found on Pinterest, my go-to for plant-based food inspiration. And I was really in the mood for a one pot, very cleansing meal that didn't take up a lot of dishes. So if you have a crock pot, this is great. You can just dump all the ingredients in there. Or if you don't have one, you can simply simmer the ingredients in a pot or pan. I really needed to use a lot of the vegetables and stuff that were about to go bad, so I definitely took advantage of this. So I have some butternut squash that I de-seeded and that I chopped up. And you can also, if you want, roast this in the oven in a bit of olive oil or grapeseed oil or whatever oil you have on hand, or you can just put it in the pot. Butternut squash contains many benefits as well, including three different types of carotenoids that reduce inflammation, vitamin A that boosts your immunity, and vitamin C that also increases your oxygen production, which can help fight fatigue and help you power through your workouts. So I chopped about a cup to a cup and a half of butternut squash to go into the crock pot. I had some, I believe this is Korean sweet potato that I needed to get rid of, so I chopped that up. That made about a good two cups that I really needed to use. A chopped white onion that I had on hand, or you can use yellow onion, whatever floats your boat. And one tablespoon of shredded ginger, another great anti-inflammatory. Studies have shown that ginger can fight off disease causing fungi, relieve menstrual cramps, and possibly block the growth of cancer cells. And now for the turmeric. Turmeric. Am I saying that right? I chopped up about one good cup of this to go into the crock pot. And I have some carrots that I really needed to get rid of. <laughs> Don't judge me, y'all. There's a lot of stuff I needed to use. We ain't wasting nothing over chia. I also had some sweet red pepper that I needed to use. To the crock pot, we have one tablespoon of grapeseed oil, or you can use whatever oil you like. I actually ended up using two vegan bouillon cubes, but you can use whatever vegetable stock you prefer or have on hand. I just added more for flavor. One bay leaf. About two, one to two tablespoons of yellow curry paste, depending on taste. I like this brand because there's no extra added junk in it and the ingredients are simple to read, just how I like. <laughs> added the iced turmeric in there. And then this is all the onion, carrots, and bell pepper that I chopped up earlier and potatoes. And then I have some dal beans. These are dal beans, but you can use lentils or chickpeas if you like. They're rinsed. 
and then I have some mixed vegetables that I needed to use. <laughs> And I had some leftover coconut milk I didn't realize I needed to be used as well. So I just added the rest of that. Some water to fill all the way up to the top. Um, I ended up adding more water. And then I wanted to make sure I blended all the seasoning from the bottom all the way into the mixture so that all that flavor gets in. I added a pinch more of turmeric that is already ground. And I added all that spinach I had in the fridge and a little bit of kale I had in there. And this is the great thing about crock pot one pot meals. You can add vegetables and stuff that, that, that has just been sitting there that you haven't been using before they go bad and just throw it into all one meal. So I put this in the crock pot on low and it sat for about a good um, one or two, one hour. Then I tasted it and added a little bit more seasoning like smoked paprika. And then I let it sit again for probably another one to two hours. But of course, if you're letting these ingredients simmer on the stove in a regular pot, um, this will not take as long as a crock pot. The soup that I made made about a good two full bowls and I, could, I knew I wasn't gonna eat that all by myself. So I gave a batch to my sister and she enjoyed it. And also my one-year-old niece enjoyed it as well. My schmooky pookie, oh my God, she's so beautiful. One thing I made was this drink called Jamu with turmeric, raw honey, and ginger. And I learned about it from TikTok. TikTok has become a very educational platform. The recipe was shared from a board certified nutritionist named Debbie Williams. This recipe calls for one tablespoon of honey, one finger length of chopped ginger with the skin on, one half cup of turmeric, the juice of one lemon, but I had lime, fresh cracked pepper, and four cups of coconut water. So you're gonna slice up your turmeric to make about one half a cup. You're gonna chop fine a finger length of ginger. One lemon, I just happened to have lime. You're gonna put your turmeric, ginger, and coconut water in a blender and blend for about 60 seconds, she said. Look at that gorgeous color. You're gonna take your blended mixture and let it simmer in a pot. Once hot, you're gonna add your lemon or lime juice. I had lime some fresh cracked pepper and your tablespoon of honey and mix this very well. You're gonna strain the mixture into a bowl. I wanted to make sure I got all that goodness out. Then I carefully transferred it into a bottle. You can drink hot or chilled. Turmeric also is a great anti-inflammatory for the skin. I actually use a black-owned skincare brand called Gleeman that incorporates turmeric, um, turmeric, if I'm saying that correctly, into their face mask. So sometimes I will add a face steam to my um, face cleansing routine just to relieve extra dirt and stuff in my pores. Since I have combination oily skin, I learned this YouTube hack to start off with an oil base before my cleanser. So I usually will start off with either a coconut oil base or a jojoba oil base followed by my cleanser. Um, this one being from um, Be Transcendent. Once my pores are open from the steam to really help it penetrate a lot better. Then I'll go in with a gentle scrubber to remove the dirt and rinse all that dirt off. At not scrub, dry your face. And then that's when I will go in with the Gleeman face mask. Um, this has aloe vera in it, as well as turmeric, turmeric, however you say that. And I will just let it do its thing. If you like the recipes, education, and this overall vibe, feel free to follow my Instagram, my TikTok, and I will definitely check you guys out as well. Thank you so much for joining this healthy glow up with me. And remember, you don't need to compare yourself or your health journey to anybody else.
Bye.